Hey guys, my name's Sophie and I'm new here to the channel but I thought I'd talk to you today about how different colours can change your mood. As most of us know from physics, yes, there may be a tad bit of physics in it. When light hits the eye, the wavelengths get reflected in different ways depending on the angle it actually hits the eye because it can influence how the retina responds to that and then sends the nerve signal to the hypothalamus which then creates a certain response that, or reaction to the external stimulus of the colour. For example, if we saw a yellow of a wasp that would then hit the retina in a certain way, that wavelength of the yellow would hit the retina in a certain way and we all automatically associate wasps with pain and misery because that's from our own experiences. So the hypothalamus recognises that and will then send a um, will then send a hormone, probably adrenaline, straight down to the thigh muscles which will trigger us to run away because wasps are so let's get on with how different colours can affect your mood. Red has the longest wavelength. As such, it's probably the most powerful colour. It grabs our attention first and stimulates our pulse rate. And as a result, this, is, this has an effect on us to make us either quite energetic and lively, or has the adverse effect on us of making us quite aggressive or demanding. This is probably because red is associated with blood, which our brain probably recognises as being um, as being dangerous to us and our body and as a result triggers a fight or flight response within us and the pulse rate is due probably to the fact that we have adrenaline running through our system. Blue. Blue effects actually stimulate clear thoughts and calms the mind, aiding concentration. Blue is probably the world's most favourite colour and um, because it's probably associated with stuff like cleanliness and clean, however the wrong shade of blue or too much blue can actually have negative effects on us and make us quite melancholy and sad as a result. Yellow, like red, also has quite a strong wavelength, I mean, strong wavelength a long wavelength. So it's quite stimulating. However, it, like, unlike red, which is more of has more of a physical effect, yellow has more of an emotional effect, and so it's probably the strongest colour psycho the word um, psychologically. The right tone can lift our spirits and make us really happy. However, the wrong tone can have another effect and actually make us quite fearful and, and anxiety ridden. This is probably where yellow streak comes from, which is a term to describe someone who's being quite cowardly. Actually need no adjustment to the eye as it's, as it's in the exact middle of the spectrum. This means that as a result it can have quite a calming nature on us because our eyes are not having to strain to see it. It can also indicate food, water and shelter, which naturally we all need to survive and that instinct within us can we can associate with a positive experience, perhaps making green a good colour for us. Um, and as a result, it can calm us. However, negatively, it can also reflect. It can also make us feel stagnated and still in our lives and confused. Purple is actually the shortest wavelength and it's quite close to the UV spectrum. This makes it harder for us to see as a result. Um, and because the eye strains to be able to detect it. This means to be able to acknowledge it, we need a higher level thought, so probably surrounding yourself with purple or um, would actually have a positive effect of making it seem, making you more focused and intellectually more aware. As orange is a combination of red and yellow, it's stimulating in both emotional and physical ways. This can have both, this can have effects on us to make us really, really 
energetic and excited to have it can also make us too energetic and happy and that can be an overload sometimes. Black is all the colours totally absorbed so as a result this can be quite intimidating or menacing. However it can also have the other effect of um, communicating an aura of sophistication or clarity because which probably comes from the term black or white. White is the, quite the opposite of black in the way it's total reflection of all colours. So as a result this can create a sense of um, being sterile and clean which we associate with being healthy which is a good thing um, and, can and can trigger positive responses within us so perhaps happiness. Uh, however it can also trigger a sense of isolation because it's a void of other colours. As a result this can have damaging effects on us, so, like we can feel unhappy which, and as a result we can feel depressed or moody and melancholy. That's it for me today guys. I'm sorry it's been a bit hit and miss and a bit stop and go but it's my first video and I'm a bit nervous but please support me and leave a like and comment in the description below and hopefully my next video will be a bit better and you'll be seeing a lot more of me so see ya!